All right, guys, live on the scene, rebirtha. Uh, working on taking the bathroom walls and uh, uh, moldings and everything out uh, this evening. I'm making a little bit of progress here. I'll show this to you. So, a matter of fact, let me just turn this thing around. I guess I can't. All right, so anyway, uh, I got the uh, inside of the wall exposed. You can see the black stink pipe that goes up. I got this whole back wall off. There are a couple screws run down the middle. Uh, so remember those. Uh, one of the biggest things that I found was this piece of trim here. It had a nice plastic uh, finish trim piece that went inside of it. You can push it in. It's a real thin plastic. You can see it here. That's what it looks like with it on. I didn't realize that it actually pulled out of there. There's some rivets behind there, as you can see. So it's riveted right to the exterior wall, and that's what's holding it from coming the rest of the way out. So uh, always, uh, always uh, a good idea to kind of dig into the details before you just start manhandling stuff and tearing it off the wall. And I know that's uh, sometimes easy to do, but spend a little extra time and... and dive in a little deeper and you might find exactly what's uh what's holding you up and make it a little easier to get it off of there so anyway making some progress i'll show you the back it's all cleared out overhead bins are gone not gone but just now right you can actually see them there uh some duct work so keeping all these rounded moldings as i told you all before anything that has that interior curve on it, i want to keep it because so i can make my new pieces so use them as a template so until next time, adios.